If there was anyone out there who doubted our resolve as government uh, to fight uh, trade in illicit drugs in the country, today is part of your answer. But you are going to get more answers soon uh, when you see some of the things we have lined up that we want to do. On my own behalf and on behalf of my colleagues at the Minister of Interior and on behalf of government, the executive branch of government, I want to say thank you to the Inspector General of our National Police Service and to the DCI. It is true, as I just said, to have kept these drugs for close to three years within the confines of the DCI, and we are now destroying them today, is testament to the growing integrity and commitment of our police service to remain a clean institution that works for the people of Kenya. I'm also grateful that today, you look around here, we are all here. Our intelligence collaboration is actually working. We're here with the judiciary, we're here with the DPP, we are here with the National Police Service and my brother and colleagues from NACADA. We are all aligned. And Honorable Justice Kimaru, I want to assure you uh, that we are determined to work together. This is the way we are going to work together. We will continue to collaborate and ensure that we fight the drug menace in our country decisively and conclusively. I want to make the last two points that I think are critical, especially at this point in time. For the last so many months, the Inspector General, um, the DCI, and several of us uh, have been working to ensure that in terms of our deployment and the organization and the resources we put in place, we are now prepared to wage a, a very decisive war on drug trafficking and the movement of drugs in our country. I am so grateful that we have a collaborative office of the DPP. And now, from what we are doing here, the judiciary is collaborating with us. Those who traffic in drugs who are interested in destroying the lives of our people are enemies of the state because they are intent on hurting and ruining the lives of our children. We will stop at nothing, and we are going to do whatever it takes to confront you. If you enjoyed protection in the past from within the security system, and I say this publicly as a public servant, I am the Minister for Interior and the backstops here. If you enjoyed protection in the past from within our ranks and from our security sector, and from whatever levels of government, my declaration to you today is that that kind of thing will never happen again in our country. We are moving forward and we will not care for your status, we will not care for the responsibilities you hold in this society because we know you are an enemy to our people. Let us put it plainly that way. You are an enemy to our people, you are hurting our children, you are destroying the lives of Kenya's young people. You need to go to Mombasa and see what this nonsense has done to our children. And we cannot continue to address it as though it is a feature of our society that's developing or that is going away by merely us looking like we are active. We are already on our way to taking extraordinary measures to deal with these issues. And we will be ruthless on this matter because this has gone on for a while, and in certain cases, we now know some of the things that have supported the trade and the movement of drugs in our country. We are grateful for the collaboration we enjoy with our colleagues. The US government has been very supportive. The British government has been very supportive. But as Kenyans, we need to know that it's okay for us to enjoy and get support from others. 
but we have to do our work. And my brothers and sisters in the security sector, let us now move forward without fear or favor. For those of you, like my brother, the DCI, and our police commanders who are taking these decisions every day, the president asked me to tell you this, and I'm telling you this very publicly. We have your back. Just move. Don't be intimidated by anybody. We have your back. Let us move and sort this business out once and for all. Very lastly, whatever resources will be required to put in as government in terms of working with our security sector agencies, we are ready to deploy. We are ready to fight this. That's why we have started a very active program in the coast region of rehabilitation. I was in Miritina about two weeks ago. We are working with others like Red Cross, the county government of Mombasa, to try and build an infrastructure that will rehabilitate our children and other people who have already suffered from this. We have to be honest with one another. It's either we stand up to this thing and fight it, or we will lose generations of our people. Our country is not going to develop when we live with this kind of madness around and we treat the people who engage in it as though they are ordinary people. These are not ordinary people. They are enemies to our country. And that is how we should deal with them. They are not just ordinary criminals. They are destructive enemies. And we will deal with them that way. So, Tukotiari, I am very grateful for the intelligence collaboration. And Judge, on our part, we are absolutely ready. And we will stop at nothing to move forward to ensure that we protect our population. And what we do here, and what we are going to do in a few days, in a few weeks to come, will demonstrate to the country and the region that as a government we have resolved this place must be drug free. We must raise up our children and do the work that we have been given by God, our Creator's responsible people. And so, if you are out there doing this thing and hoping that we will change, we will not change. I'm very happy. Before we came here, I have to refill. And we just had a meeting this morning, an intelligence meeting with all our colleagues. We have resolved to take this thing to the next level. Thank you so much, DPP. Thank you so much, DCI. Thank you so much, my colleagues, for your resolve on this matter. Let's go forth. And we are not deluded. I need to tell people this. Because there are times people tell us, oh, you know, this is a very serious issue. It's a dangerous war. I am not deluded. I'm not deceived. I don't think, I don't know that it is. We know it is. That's why we are going to put the resources we need to put forward. And that is why it needs courage and resolve, both of which we have. So, Hatuogopi, Tukotiare Kapisa. And if you want to test the resolve, try it. We have to fight this thing and sort it out. As a country that has been blessed and endowed the way we have been, we shouldn't be spending our time on this, looking at what we are seeing now in parts of our country where our children, the lives of some of our children has been destroyed by this kind of madness. So, Tunajua is a dangerous war we are taking. Tunajua, it requires us to be serious. That we know and understand, and we are confirming that we are ready. And we are walking towards you, not away from you. We are walking towards you. We are ready for you to deal with you in the interest of our children. God bless you, good people. Thank you so much, DCI. I am so proud of you people. And on behalf of Kenyan citizens, I need to tell you as a citizen of this great country, thank you, thank you, and thank you. God bless you, good people. Thank you.